Chelsea lately. <laughs> Get it? Chelsea lately? I used to watch that fucking time, y'all. That's so fucked up. I can't with her right now. I don't know. If you didn't see her with Dylan Mulvaney, or Mulvaney, honey, this is my theory though. Chelsea, I, let me tell you something about Chelsea Handler. I fucking love that bitch. She's funny as hell. And I don't read, but when I do, I'm just kidding. I read every day, okay? I, not like books, okay? But I, I bought Chelsea Handler's one of, I think she has a couple different books. I'm not quite sure. But, um, but yeah, but she's, she's one of the few people that, uh, I have read their book. And, um, not that everybody has books, but you know, like Jeanette McCurdy, I'm sorry, girl. I ain't read, I ain't read about how you hated your mama. Don't do that, Rose. Rose, get up. I didn't hurt her. I didn't touch her, y'all. Oh, I want to, though, sometimes. Girl, she pissed me off like she knows. I think I scared her. I feel bad when I do that, y'all. Like, I, I be scaring her and stuff. And, like, the other day, the other day, she got hurt because she literally, it was her own fault, but it was like she fell, like, if you could see my coffee table right now, you'd understand what I mean. Like, the way that she fell into it like it hit her head and stuff and I know she's okay but like I just feel bad and I like there's fucking bald eagles around my house I feel like maybe they're not bald eagles but they're definitely like hawks or like a fucking gigantic fucking bird like a fucking um vulture yes honey I have vultures vultures surrounding the premises and if not that bald eagles so could be pterodactyls who knows? I don't know. But she can't go outside is the point. By the way, <laughs> welcome back to False Narratives. My name is William Simpson. And um, I've always been jealous of podcasters that have like their like shit together. Um, and like have like real like things like this. You know what I mean? It's so fun. Like what? And so what I did was I got my duct tape and I said to myself, you know what? I can make my own, I can make my own little, whatever you call this. You know what I mean? Fuck yeah, and that's exactly what I did. That's how us Southerners get it done. Get her done. Anyways, so, um, yeah, no, but Chelsea Lately, Chelsea Handler was with, um, I, I keep saying Chelsea Lately, that was the name of her show on E! that she used to have, she used to talk about, um, like, she was, she's always been based on comedy. She was doing, like, celebrity news though I don't think she liked it very much but that's the category that she got put in whatever she was she's been very successful as a comedian and which leads me to have a theory because Dylan Mulvaney's actions to me scream like a joke and it's not a funny joke it's gone too far type of joke it's not like it's like it's like I'm not laughing, but I can see where, um, you know, he obviously, or she, well, I'll say she, I guess, I don't know, they, I'll say they, that Dylan has received so much attention that he has sat down with the president of the United States, Joe Biden, and talked about trans stuff, I guess. I mean, like I watched it kind of, um, it was sickening. And, um, yeah, you can go watch it for yourself if you would like to, but I would advise you to be sugar warned. And if you're not, if you're not triggered, especially, okay, if, especially if you're a woman and you're not triggered by him or her, or whatever, you don't care about women. You don't care about other women. That's the thing. Because the truth is, is he's making a mockery out of all women. And Chelsea, girl, this has got to be a joke, honey. It better be a joke. That's all I got to say. She's always been one of my favorite like comedians she's so lucky that she was able to get where she got by the way Chelsea grew up very very poor and all that and like comedy 
you know what I'm saying? Like, and all that type of stuff late night. I think she was, other than Ellen, the only really successful person as a woman that's ever done talk show. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I know there's like Ryan and Kelly, which includes Ryan. Um, I know that like, what's her face? Um, there's some like singer now that has a podcast. I don't know. Everybody has podcasts now and some of them are successful. I guess I could not name one off the top of my head that I would want to watch at all. Um, the one that I'm thinking about, it's almost like set up like, um, Wendy Williams. I feel like, I don't know. By the way, why did, why was Wendy Williams so, um, successful? Like she made a success story out of talking shit about people. I don't know. Maybe that's what I do. I'm just kidding. Anyways. Um, yeah. So, but Chelsea, come on, girl. Come on. And you know what? She can say whatever she wants to say. I, he's not only making a mockery of women, he's making a mockery of the gay culture. He's making a mockery of trans people, um, which is part of gay culture or whatever. Um, I don't even really think he understands. Well, maybe he does understand the impact that he's made. She's the reason why that just happened. Okay. I'll let it slide this time, Rosary. Just this once. But anyways. Um, why are bitches so fake? Just a question. I don't have to have the answer immediately. Y'all can, y'all can, um, ponder on that one for me. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh. I wonder how James Charles, like, I don't know. I don't want to talk about any of that stuff. Sorry. I'm getting into like some dumb shit. I just, I wanted to talk about Chelsea because of the Dylan situation. Don't mess with that, Rose. I just want to have one thing for myself. <sighs> this is in my face. Anyways. Um, yeah, there's nothing I can say or just, it, it's like, here's the thing about Dylan. I think everybody's on the same page, right? So it's like, how, how has he gotten away with this for so long? How has he gotten away with like meeting the president, meeting all these celebrities, you know, being the face of Bud Light, having a tampon, run that back real quick, Tampax, a tampon company endorsed him and paid him Lord knows how much money he's I guess I shouldn't say he, you know, that's rude, I guess, but it just all seems like some big facade and I, I can't get it out of my head literally. And like, here's the thing is like the world won't let me because people like Chelsea Handler are having him on their podcast. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I would not want to sit down and talk to him. I know what he's about. I, I feel like I, if I don't know what he's about, I don't want to know what he's about. How about that? You know what I'm saying? Because he's not He's not, um, what's the word? He ain't got no couth. He ain't got no couth sitting there talking about women and like all this, that, and the third, like about, about girlhood and whatnot. Girl, bye. You ain't, you ain't never been no girl. You ain't never been no little girl. You didn't go through girlhood. Fuck out of my face. Blair White says it best. And I have, I have respect for everyone. For real. Like, I know how that sounds right now, but like, I'm just saying, I have respect for trans people. Um, if you do it the proper way, I don't think that children should be given hormones. I've seen so many videos in the past couple of weeks about children, like that grew up and their parents kind of just allowed them to take these hormones and have these, um, you know, body modifications, like a, a, a female to male, for instance, having a double, a double vasectomy. Do you know what I mean? And so, and th these are procedures done to kids like under 18. And I guess that's legal. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't think it should be, but, um, yeah, no, but I was watching these videos about the people that regretted doing it and like, you can't go back. 
you know, once you've had a devil vasectomy, you you go get, you know, a couple plastic breasts or whatever, silicone breasts, but you just, you know, it's so serious and I hate being serious. It's so annoying. I'd rather talk about the bog eagles outside that are, that are keeping me from letting this little hoe out outside my cat. Anyways, ugh, what else is going on in the world? Let's see. Um, it's May 12th. Oh, I wanted to say a big shout out to everybody that's wa watched um, the YouTube. If you have not checked out the YouTube yet, go check out the channel. It's um, youtube.com slash at sign the Florida Panhandle, all one word. Or you can go on YouTube and just type in the at sign in the search bar and then say the same thing, the Florida Panhandle, all one word, no spaces. Um, I don't think you'll have a problem finding us though, to be honest. Uh, also, the link to the channel is in the description of the um, podcast itself. So like, I don't think it'll, I'll try to, to remember to put it in the description. Um, I wanted to say something really quickly because somebody gave me this the other day. I've been going through some stuff, you guys, like for real, I've, I um, lost someone that was close to me and it just, it's very upsetting. It's very upsetting. Anyways, um, I don't even think I know how to wear it right. But, um, like, how do you, does it like hang down like that? I don't get it. Um, I don't know, but it's a little bracelet and it's a, I think I called it a necklace. I'm not sure, but, um, whatever, either way. Um, so, but this person gave this to me and this, there was a card, um, that was attached to the bracelet. So I wanted to, um, I wanted to share with you what it said. Life challenges us. It is simply part of being human. Take this affirmation into your heart and remember that no matter what storms may come to pass, you can slow down, breathe, and call on your inner strength and power to guide you calmly through. Embody this strength and trust that you have the ability to respond to life's challenges with courage and love. Whatever thou may be facing, remember this. You are stronger than the storm. You are a warrior of this life, and the only thing that can truly hold you back is yourself. So do not give up. Instead, forge ahead with an open and hopeful heart. The storms will eventually pass and give way to brighter skies, but you do not have to wait for that moment in order to let yourself be okay. Be brave enough to see that even amidst the storm, you are okay because you are stronger than what you are facing, and your power is infinite. Um... I have my own few words to say about it. Um, yeah, I've been handling it, but I ain't been handling it well. And the reason why I say that is because I feel as though I've been depressed. I have never grieved before in my life about, like, I just never had to deal with it. I've had people that were close to me die, like my grandma died one time. One of my grandmas died. I didn't know it that well. I met her a handful of times. I may have shed a tear. I know I sound heartless, but, you know, I just didn't know her. And I was so close with this person that just passed away. Like, and so somebody gave me this bracelet the other day because um, of that reason that I was so close with somebody and um, now they're gone. You know, I just wish this world was more accepting. Um, yeah, that's some deep stuff. I, um, just want to say thanks you, thanks you, thank you to everybody that's watched the YouTube or supported the YouTube in any way, subscribed or whatever. Um, y'all are really making me excited for the future and I'm so forever grateful for all the support shown towards the, um, podcast, towards the channel, towards any, any of the platforms that I've allowed you all to, you know, be a part of if you want to be, um, even Instagram, you can find me on Instagram at Will F Simpson, um, with two L's in the will. What is a will? There's a way that was my senior quote. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, and I believe that, that when there's a will like me <laughs> that has will power, there's a way there has to be one because, 
Or if there ain't one, I'm going to tell myself there is one because just like SZA's mama said in that, just like SZA's mama said in Control, in the Control album, she said, and if it's an illusion, she she was, she was basically saying if it's an illusion, I don't want to wake up. Like, let me be delusional, you know, let that illusion, you know, because the alternative is an abyss. So, you know, um, I think that the point of me making this podcast was not about Chelsea Handler. It's not about brief. It's not about this. It's not about that. It's just about updates. It's about things that I've seen lately that I just want to kind of talk about. But um, it's not just about one thing. You know what I mean? It's definitely not just about one thing. Gosh, I like make myself so annoyed because I'd be saying such deep shit when I'm typing this shit out. And it's like, I don't want to say that though. I don't want to say that. So I'll say this much. I've never experienced love in my life the way that I experienced love with this person that's passed. It hurts my heart that he's passed. It makes me sad. Um, what hurts me worse is I know mentally he was going through it and with certain things. And I feel like he just must have really been going through it. I can't, and I just couldn't see it. Nobody could, I guess. Um, I wish I was more aware because he seemed so fine. I would have never been able to know. And at the end of the day, this is the first time I've ever experienced love. And if I never feel it again, that's okay. I'm okay with that because I think that that person was my soulmate. Um, but clearly that's there's a higher purpose for this. There has to be a reason or it's just what has happened, you know what I mean? And everything just kind of happens. I don't believe that. I believe there's got to be a reason for everything. I believe in God and in Jesus' name I pray. You know what I'm saying? Um, amen. But I don't know what the reason is for this. Um, out of respect for everyone in the family, I'm not going to even, I'm not going to go into how I feel stuff like that. Not that they care what I say probably, but like, it's not that I, I don't dislike any of them. I actually enjoyed every single, being around every single one of them. In fact, I even knew his sister for almost half my life because I met her when I was in like sixth or seventh grade. So, um, half my life, you know what I mean? I've known her and I didn't know she had a brother until a few years back, but I feel for them. I can't imagine what it feels like to lose a brother or a son. A, one of your children or a sibling. That sounds crazy um, to have to go through. So I, I, my, my heart goes out to them um, for real. Um, there is no way for me personally to not continue to make videos because I'm boohoo sad crying. You know what I'm saying? I've been crying a lot, but it's like, I always in the back of my mind, I'm like feeling bad because I know I'm seeing these numbers. I'm seeing everything online and I'm like, yo, what the fuck? I have to keep going because if you stop, you lose that momentum very quickly. I learned that so quickly last summer when I had a car accident, I was in the hospital for several weeks, three weeks total. I couldn't walk for two months. It was a long period of time between me making videos. I just, I couldn't do it. And you know what I mean? And so, but you lose momentum very quickly whenever you're not doing it the way that you were. And, um, yes, they say quality over quantity. I beg to differ. I beg to differ. It's like, a, it's like a job. You work your way from the bottom, but if you show somebody that you're not capable of being reliable, most people are going to fire you. You know what I mean? Or you're going to have to go back down to the bottom of the totem pole which is exactly what's happened in the past 
year, I've had to work myself all the way back to where so much farther, actually, than where I was before, you know, but it's only going to go up from here, and I pray every day about it, and I, and I just know that if, as long as I, my intentions are pure, as long as I'm communicating how I truly feel, and I'm being authentic, it's going to continue to succeed, because it's just how life works. People see through, people see through all that rah-rah. People really, oh, excuse me, people really do see through all that rah-rah. They really do. Um, I saw this on Instagram. It was a guy saying, he was making a joke. He's a comedian doing stand-up comedy. He said, we're on a space rock in the middle of nothingness, and nothingness is expanding, and that's supposed to make sense, right? That's a whole lot of coincidences. Um, that part, the last part about the coincidence of coincidences, that's what I was saying to that. Um, it's a lot of coincidences. Um, I'll say one last thing. I'll say one last thing. Let me start by giving a big shout out to everyone that has listened thus far. Thank you. 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 Um, I appreciate it. Genuinely. Um, I know sometimes the points may become obscured. Um, certain parts of the show I encourage you to go watch on YouTube because when you can see us talking about what we're talking about and everything, it kind of makes more sense in my mind, I think. I don't know. I think we both just kind of, you know, we just love to talk, I guess. And so when we get to talking, you know, we ramble on and on and, and you know, I guess that's what a podcast is. I'm not quite sure. I think that there's actual like topics people really go over. And I think that we've done, we've done that for sure. We've done that for sure. But, um, you know, I've heard some of them and I'm like, I don't know really where I was going with certain things. Um, thank you for listening. I've enjoyed having you guys, um, listen. I've enjoyed seeing the numbers. Um, not even the numbers. I've just enjoyed seeing, I'm so glad that RSS.com has this mapped out like pinpoints. It'll show you pinpoints of like where it's pinging, pinged your podcast or whatever on whatever podcasting platform that it was distributed on. And, um, it's all around the world and that's a lot of pressure and I've felt the pressure and I've been feeling the pressure and it's made me where I almost feel like I don't have a lot of ideas. But at the same time, though, I do. I just don't want to post certain things. Like, this is going to go up. But I took probably 15 takes before. Like, not in one sitting, but like the past few days. Like, I've, you know, I might do two a day or three a day, like trying to get it right. And I'm not saying this one's right. I'm just saying that I feel like I've explained what I wanted to say in a way that was respectful. Um, hopefully, you know, if not, if, if somebody takes offense to anything I said, I'm so sorry, you know, but anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this and I pray that you guys, um, have all of your dreams come true and just remember that life is so precious and you can lose it at any certain point in time, like literally in the blink of a motherfucking eye. So just be appreciative of everything that you have. I have so much to be grateful for and I am so blessed and I'm so thankful. Thank you, God. You know what I'm saying? In Jesus name I pray. Um, but thank you all for, th for even just giving me the opportunity to continue to do this. I feel like it's so cool it's just so cool and, it's, and it's, it has nothing to do with like fame and fortune and da, 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 da. I just want to make people smile and stuff like for real and if that many people are watching or listening on YouTube especially because I really do a lot of comedy on there I know somebody's laughed like you know what I mean and I don't know that just gives me a feeling I can't even explain so thank you 
Um, and I know a lot of those people that came, I know a lot of the people that came from, um, this podcast, I know a lot of people did come from this podcast is what I'm trying to say, because it had to have been, um, not this, not just this past month, but like in the past few months, uh, I know that this, this podcast is distributed on iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music. I mean, it, the list goes on and on. There's so many podcasting networks. It's unbelievable. So, but it's on most of them. So yeah, I mean, I know that it definitely got a lot of attention for the YouTube that way, for sure. Um, but yeah, thank you. God bless every single one of you and have a good day, night, afternoon, you know. Um, bye.